Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a promo Friday, and today we find out if EA are going to boost the power curve today with Fantasy FC and Fantasy FC Heroes. I want to take a look at all of the leaks, and some of them are hot off the press, including some official stats for one player that is going to be coming in the fantasy promo today. And what other content could EA release? We haven't had an evolution all week long with the Future Star Academy Evos taking place there. What's going to happen there today? What about SBCs? What about the markets? If things go down how we think they might, we're going to talk about that all in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content. The last full day of Future Stars actually ended with a W. Now, of course, we start off with our usual Thursday of marquee matchups. Actually, one of the, I, I think, not as good marquee matchups for the packs that you get back. The main pack out at the front is a rare Electrum. I think it was a mega pack last week. That's better in my eyes, but I mean, that's just some couple tradable packs you can do during the week as always. Marquee matchups is there. This is the SBC. Destiny Udogi. We, we kind of knew that he was coming, right? He was the last day that possibly he could be released and he was, and he went boom straight into my team, especially with the price of the SBC, 85,000 coins, 77% upvoted for this Udogi card. It is a nice card, and uh, I would show you the card. It's actually already in my starting 11, and it's already in the process of being evolved. I did the SBC, and then I've now started the evolution as well, right? A lot of people are doing this. They're taking this Udogi card, and they are going and upgrading it with the 75,000 coin EVO. So basically, it's an 85,000 coin SBC, which you can then put into a 75,000 coin EVO, and you're getting yourself a left back card that is pretty... Pretty crazy, I'll be completely honest. Ping Pass Plus and Jockey Plus as well. He's got Long Ball, Whipped Pass, Block, and Quick Step with really some pretty good stats. Now, some people are asking, Nate, is this better than Alfonso Davies? To me, I would say no. He's not as good as Alfonso Davies. He's way more defensive, and I think I like that. Um, Alfonso Davies runs out of stamina. This could be a great card at the end of the game. If you did it for the low price, you start Davies and then sub on Udogi later. Or if you just want to start Udogi for a little bit more of a defensive left back that still can get forward. I mean, he has 81 shooting on this card. He has high, high work rates, and he does stay back more. I played a bunch of games with him yesterday, at least five, I guess. Um, he stays back better than Davies does. A lot of people are asking, is he better than Havertz? And I think he's more defensive as, uh, than Havertz, but you don't have the whipped pass plus. He still has regular whip plus, so it's very good. Guys, there's a lot of hype for this SBC card. A ton of people are doing this. It's got 2,000 upvotes, a 77% thumbs up on the SBC. I think people like this because it's a new Prem left back with the Italian links too recently with, you know, Baggio and Cannavaro. That helps him as well. But it's actually really well priced. Like, you know, we talk about uh, Prem tax when it comes to these sorts of SBCs, right? Where they usually overprice the cards that they know people are really going to want to get excited about and uh they didn't overprice you doggy at all so that was very very nice and he does look cracked after the evo so that was actually a surprise yesterday another reason that you can tell people are doing that sbc like crazy is the fact that left backs on the game have absolutely gotten demolished i did not even notice how much bomb pastor was down from 227k to 150 thousand coins that is a huge Huge price drop on the middle tier of the left back market. Karchawi as well is another one. She went from 140k down to 100,000 coins. Um, Zinchenko, the radioactive card I know, is a very popular lower priced prem left back. He went from 76k down to 57,000 coins. Left backs across the game are in the mud because of Udogi. That is a very, very solid SBC. So that's kind of the content that dropped yesterday. Uh, we do have some road to the final action to talk about because I think today, Friday, should be the day that they upgrade some of these cards, including Romelu Lukaku. Roma won on penalties to go to the basically to qualify for the round of 16s. And that's how it was yesterday for Coates, Neres, Leao, and Lukaku. They are all getting upgraded and they will join the list of players from the Champions League games earlier on this week that will be getting upgraded sometime today. I don't remember when EA upgraded the live cards last week on Friday. I think it was 
I think it was in the morning. It was before content. I think they might do that again today. They could also do it after content. I think the rules are just sometime on Fridays after the week's games are over, these cards will get upgraded. And yes, before you ask, David Neres, Boscagli from early in the week, they're going to be getting plus two overall because they are 86 rated. If you have those cards in your club, uh, everything above 86 is just a plus one, but it's a plus one inform upgrade and the new inform system is 86 goes to an 88 so i would watch out for that today maybe a couple of price fluctuations there but man like some of these prices on the road to the finals continue just to be absolutely crazy like this layout card is five mil 4.9 4.9 million coins he's going to a 92 rated card you're gonna get some plus ones today but that is absolutely wild how expensive he is so that's kind of all the content that i expect to see today on this game Let's get into the big news, okay? Uh, sorry, that was from yesterday. Content in terms of the road to the finals. We got to talk about the content today. I'm actually still really excited for it, guys. I know yesterday we kind of talked about it. I know a lot of you guys are still down on it. It's really it's really a gamble. Again, it's a prediction that I have that these cards are going to be juiced. We have some official stats that I want to look at that uh, they look okay. It looks, it looks okay. We'll have to see. It does always, as every promo Friday, it comes down to the pack weight. It comes down to the prices of players on the market. And, of course how cracked the cards are because with future stars some of them are decent some of them are fodder right but the pack weight was high and that was nice but these cards are live let's talk about fantasy fc and also do a little bit more background on this promo uh, because we didn't do a lot of that earlier on this week this is one of the biggest leaks i think we had yesterday griezmann big name player imagine this griezmann card with two play style pluses i mean it's basically a guarantee that a top tier card in this promo like Griezmann is going to have a two player style plus addition to it. I'm really excited to see what his card looks like today. Official stats with the play styles, right? Everybody used his gold card and maybe some of his earlier on cards this year with the Finesse Plus and it was very popular. I think Finesse Plus is still popular, but what else will EA give him? Maybe they'll give him technical and Finesse. That might be a little bit too good, but you don't know, right? Here's the official league stats that we have right now. This is for Furlan Mendy. Ferland Mendy got a pretty sizable upgrade, guys. Um, I know that it's not 100% like Alfonso Davies level. For some of you guys, you look at like, oh, 83 defense. Oh, that's a little bit low. Passing, dribbling, a little bit low. That is a Hullet Gang left back with 98 pace and 91 physical. And it's Ferland Mendy. He is always OP. And that upgrade over his Dynasty's cards, it's not just a simple plus one. It's a plus two overall. He got plus five shooting plus two pace, and then ones, twos, and threes around the rest of the card. But the fact that he got quick step plus is really intriguing to me as well. The quick step plus on this Mendy card that he does not have on his regular item. He's got rapid, block, flare, and now you're telling me he's going to have slide tackle and quick step plus, and I would not be surprised if they added another play style, a regular one or two or three to this card. Um, again, that's a good sign to me with that plus five shooting plus two pace and still the fact that this for Lenendi could if he hits all the upgrade points go up to a 93 rated card albeit probably in like a month or a month and a half it's going to take for him to get upgraded to that level that's that's a pretty sick card and i think that's a pretty sizable boost i know this dynasty's card has been out for a while like it's been out since december um but you know i think that's a pretty sizable boost and that gives me hope for the rest of this team that it could be pretty cracked. Now, speaking of upgrades once more, we talked about the upgrade path and how it works. Last year, the cards did not get upgraded until two weeks after the promo team came out. I don't know if you guys remember, we were really disappointed last year because these cards came out and they didn't get upgraded for a couple of weeks. Like literally they came out on March 3rd and it was March 17th when the games first counted. I believe that this year it's different and it's way more hype because the upgrades start today. Like if a club has a game today which there is one leaked kai one leaked card who actually has a game today on friday i think he has a chance to score a goal assist a goal appear in a match and start working on his way towards those upgrades so we're going to talk about that but i think that's going to be a big part of today's promo as well it's almost like ones to watch we didn't have ones to watch earlier on this year and it's almost like that because the upgrades happen basically right away as there's a lot of games this weekend so i think the upgrades start today which is very very hype now let's go over the rest of the leaked cards we've looked at delict of course mendy 
Konate is a new one that we have not looked at yet. I mean, everybody just did either Bade or Desasi, right? A lot of people were hyped about Desasi, maybe even Cannavaro or um, Rijkaard. A lot of center back SBCs recently. Looks like we're having another center back to join the mix. Not as an SBC, of course, but impacts Konate. His card's probably going to be pretty juiced. These are predicted stats once again. Will EA give out Anticipate Plus for this Konate card? Or will they hold it back? We'll see. I mean, if they're going all out, they would give it out. So then there's the Griezmann, of course, that we looked at. Same thing with Marquinhos. I mean, guys, when I look at the players, the quality of players in this promo, you might be like, ah, oh, Nate, reused cards, like for Marquinhos and for Griezmann and all that. And I feel you. But these are the promos that big name players get into that actually bring a lot of hype to the game just because it is the big name players even though we sometimes get frustrated about them overusing stuff and reusing cards and all that uh, marquinhos has had a trailblazers this year and i think that's about it so this could be a huge upgrade for him and of course again a live card with potential upgrades we've got jack Grealish. so that uh prediction earlier on in the week about how the cards upgrade was actually a leak as well Grealish is coming as a fantasy card these are predicted stats for all of these um, the thing to think about with some of these is, especially with Grealish, injuries. Injuries are going to play a big part as we kind of calculate how much a card is worth because of how many upgrades they could get and how much hype there is around a card. I believe Grealish maybe was just subbed off injured recently. I'm not sure. Same thing with Griezmann. So that's a big thing to look at with these cards because injuries could really kill the hype on an upgrade. Even though the upgrades take time, if they're not healthy, that means they're not even eligible to hit some of the upgrades and a part of the past. So that's something to keep considered with these. And this is Lacazette. Lacazette's coming as a fantasy foot and he actually has a game today. I believe Lyon play in League One today. So I don't know. This card looks disgustingly good. Like if that's the Lacazette that they released, that is going to be a nuts, nuts card with two playstyle pluses. Again, we hope for basically all of these. Um, stats are predicted, but that would be cracked if they do that. Um, so that's hype, right? And he would probably be a middle to lower tier version. Part of the promo team as well, you'd think, right? I mean, Lacazette, big name player for sure, but Grealish, Marquinhos, Griezmann, some of those guys are going to be pretty high rated for sure. Now, let's look at some of the heroes because the leaks look pretty solid, guys. There's just not that many leaks so far, like only one, two, three, four, five, six seven like maybe seven or eight players if i'm missing one or two that's not very many players to be completely honest for who's leaked in this promo so far i think there's going to be some surprises today especially as we start to get more official stats leak stats being tweeted out and some stuff like that let's move on though to some of these heroes we're first looking at the hero upgrade path it's a lot shorter right if you guys remember from last year um they don't have as many opportunities to upgrade because they are heroes right and ea wants to keep releasing special versions of heroes throughout the year you know for all that so the base card is going to get an upgrade and then the club winning two games will get the first upgrade for the hero and the club scoring the 11 goals in four games is like the potential plus two for the hero card so i feel like most of the heroes should be able to get a plus one but it's going to be difficult to get a plus two for sure because that is the hardest upgrade to get out of all this. A club scoring 11 goals in the next four league matches is pretty difficult. But each of these heroes will be represented by a team, by a club, and it is company represented by Manchester City. So he's getting another, another card today. He's going to be in packs today for a Manchester City upgrading hero card. That'll be one of the better center backs in the game too. His cards have been pretty, pretty good this year. Now let's take a look at a few more leaked heroes. We've got Tevez. So I'm guessing if if um, if company is City, then Tevez is probably going to be United if he's going to be a Manchester uh, United or a Premier League Tevez. I think that would be the most hype, especially for a lot of us on this game, and that would make this Tevez the most hype version. We just had a Tevez SBC, but now we're getting one in packs as well that will be live and potentially upgrading. We've got Rui Costa, who needs a definite upgrade from his card, uh, even the UCL version. Nice little upgrade there for him, and he could be usable. That This is one of the things I'm a little excited about with this promo today. Hopefully, they give some of these heroes, or all the heroes, two playstyle pluses and some pretty solid juices as well. Oh, yeah, we came up with a new word yesterday. I say boosted and juiced all the time. So we came up with a new word in the Twitch stream, juiced. So we're going to say we're hoping for these cards to be juiced today. Uh, Marquisio is, again, another card that is going to be in the promo team today in packs. I don't know if any of these leaks have to do with the SBCs because there are two heroes that are going to be coming out as SBCs this next week, kind of like the icons during um, Future Stars, the heroes this next week during Fantasy. 
But we'll see. We don't know who those, who those are yet. We've got Paulo Futre is going to be coming as a hero card as well. His pace and dribbling is going to be insane. And maybe now, hopefully, the um, the uh, shooting and the passing can start to catch up. Um, because on his base card, they were like really low. He had insane dribbling and pace. And his shooting and passing is what let you down. Well, hopefully now with two playstyle pluses as well. Technical plus has to be one of them. Because that's like his thing. Um you know, maybe they give him Trickster. That wouldn't be as hype. Hopefully, two really good playstyle pluses for that card, and he could be a beast. Same thing with Kessler. Um, official stats, dynamic, and playstyle. So Kessler going to a 91. I did not see this. Let's pull up Kessler's um, UCL card. 90 rated to a 91. I guess they can't give the heroes that big of a boost like they could have Furlan Mendy. She's getting Trivella and Energizer Plus. Oh my gosh, 90 shooting, 91 passing, 91 dribbling, and 86 pace with 81 defense and physical. What is that upgraded from this glass card? Plus three shooting? Wow, plus two dribbling, two pace, one overall. Again, guys, these official stats and the dynamics and the play styles, I think they're juicing these cards today, man. That Mendy looks good. This is a bigger boost on a Kessler card than I would have expected. This looks pretty good, man. Um, yeah, I'm getting excited for this. I mean, I don't think... I can't stop myself from getting excited, bros, because these upgrades look pretty sizable. So I'm really curious to see how that transfers forward during uh, the rest of the team getting released today on this game. One thing to mention is... This has been a two-week promo in the past historically, so I guess there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance? Yes, I am. There's a chance that some of these cards maybe are not actually released today, and there could be some that are released a little bit later next week. We'll just have to see. Now, one thing I do want to talk about as my SBCs do not want to load in. This is really weird looking. Okay, now it's fixed. Uh, we are getting an SBC player today. The only SBC that we have leaked as of right now is Timo Burner the Burner. Spurs transferred card. Um, I'm excited for this one. If we get back-to-back -back days of Spurs SBCs, that would seem unlike EA. I'm just being completely honest. That'd be sick if you're a Spurs fan. Also, if you need a pacey Premier League attacker, if they were to give him this card, we're talking 96 pace, 87 shooting, and 88 dribbling, that would be kind of sick as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one could be one that comes out like Hemp last week, who you know is going to be an OP card. Timo Werner always has overpowered cards in this game. Just with his build, his pace, his dribbling, it's going to suit this meta for sure. Left stick dribbling, technical plus if he has that, right? He could be insane. I could see it being like Hemp, where it's a little bit overpriced, but it's a meta card, so people are willing to pay for it. The thing is, Spurs upgrades, hey, even as a Spurs fan, it's definitely not a guarantee that in the next four league matches, he could get you know, even a plus two or a plus three, it's possible, but you never know. And that's some of the fun and some of the risk and the hype with these cards for sure. But I think that's our SBC player today. Um, again, there could be more leaks as we head into content today that could change some of those things. I just don't see an SBC player today being cheap. That's the thing that I'm trying to get over to you guys is like Claudia Pena is expiring today. That was a cheap SBC for the quality of player that we were getting two weeks ago during Future Stars. I don't see one being really cost effective today, cost efficient, because does EA want to give out a really cracked card that also upgrades? Like usually for live cards, they're not cheap in terms of the SBCs. So, I mean, Kimmich was decent value and Lautaro was decent value, but they weren't like really, really low cost. That's what I'm trying to get across. So I don't know how the SBCs are going to look today, guys. I mean, one thing we do know for sure is that the 86 plus team of the group stage is refreshing and the team of the week player pick goes away. So you expect that to refresh as well today as it always does every single Friday. But a lot of stuff's going away. The 85 plus player pick, which I got to get done two more times. The icon pick does not refresh today. It refreshes tomorrow on Saturday. Um, and the 82 times 20 goes away. I have that pack saved that will open up for the fantasy promo today too. Uh, but that SBC is going away. This one is refreshing. And I don't know, guys, I feel like there's some sort of surprise coming with content today. I just don't know what it's going to be or where it's going to be. Um, objectives, we need XP. Okay, EA Sports, we need XP badly. Give us Theme Team Pursuit or something to give us uh, give out some XP, man. Because a lot of people would like to get to level 10 and get Yunus Musa. And if they don't drop XP today, then you're going to run out of time to put this Musa into the glow-up 
evolution because it is expiring soon uh, or entering into it and putting a player into it is expiring soon one thing i will mention is we probably get an objective player today for this promo again objective players are always pretty easy to get done but they're not as juiced right our new word back in action so watch out for that today and then we got to talk about evos because we have not had an evolution for this entire last week it's all been well, since Sunday, right? When we had the glow up. It, it The last week has been pretty quiet on Evos. It's all been Future Star Academy, Future Star Academy, and all that over the past couple of weeks. There's only one page of Evos on this game. Some of you guys probably even have less because you've done most of these, right? Um, yeah, there's got to be an Evo today, but I do not know what it is. There are no leaks as of right now as to what an, an Evo coming today would be as well. I can't imagine that they would want to give out a player that would be a fantasy player. I don't think they'll let us customize one of those because we just had a promo that included a special car design for the Evos. Um, and I think they, this will be an off promo where we just kind of get some more generic Evos, um, upgrading hopefully cards that we've already had in our ultimate teams, like an Evo kind of like this, paid and also free. Like I've got a bunch of cards that are, you know, 83 to 85 rated that are just Evo cards in my club that I would love to upgrade and get to a higher rating and a higher level. Hopefully with the power curve going up, if it does, right? That's one thing with these stats looking as juiced as they are on some of the official stats of these promo cards. If the power curve is truly going up today, then hopefully the Evos will be following suit. But watch out for leaks for those because, again, it's just been all Academy stuff right now. Now, before we get into some market talk, let's look at some of the packs that are coming uh, this today and, and this weekend. Here's the pack or the player pick that interests me the most. There are some pretty crazy packs in here, but this is the one that's kind of crazy. Heroic Halftime Player Pick. It includes one UCL Triple Threat or Fantasy Hero Player Pick rated 88 or higher. That's kind of crazy that's the first hero player pick that does not include base cards but it's being added into the game as a pack that sounds like a store pack 100 percent by the name of it and everything but um that in call includes also current in packs um fantasy heroes so that's really interesting i don't know when that's going to be dropped i maybe wouldn't expect that until team two Maybe if it's a one-week promo, we get it at some time this weekend. We'll see. There's also another icon pack, which is including three base icons with 188 plus. Also, 50 rare gold players rated 80 or higher. And then we get into some of the big store packs. The Supreme Halftime Encore Pack. It's, again, one of those that is giving out some old promo versions. Radioactive Dynasties Group Stage um, versus Winter Wild Cards. Three of them are... Um, guaranteed to be 88 or above that's a pretty crazy store pack and then also an 84 times 20 that's going to be like six seven hundred thousand coins that's going to be very expensive so that's a massive pack there that is upcoming but let's talk about the market a little bit because we already just mentioned it and i want to talk about it some more the power curve right and that's a big conversation with how these cards potentially getting upgraded could impact the market and we touched on it yesterday for sure uh but i think you could see more impact on that today it's kind of going to go i think one of two ways way number one is the cards that they drop today most of them actually are juiced they are pretty crazy we get a decent spc we get a decent objective maybe a decent Evo as well. And we get more and more cards that are double play style plus. And of course the new cards, the fantasy cards that are coming out are live in that way. To me, I would think that there would be a little bit of a correction to the market, especially maybe on some of the team of the years. Um, I mean, think about it. If, if you're somebody who has team of the year, I don't know, let's say like team of the year, Sam Kerr or team of the year, Sophia Smith. And you've used this card now for a couple months, right? You know, team of the year, it's come, it's gone. These cards were super elite when they first came out. But now, you know, they're still good. I mean, let's not say anything bad about team of the years. They are still incredible. Like, how many cards stack up against the Sam Kerr or Sophia Smith as team of the year strikers? Not very many. But also, they've started to slowly drop down in price as we've gotten more and more double play style plus cards that at least kind of compete with some of these. And you see that Griezmann? I mean, there's got to be some people on the game today that look at their Sophia Smith and like, okay, I've used this card now for a couple weeks. Yeah, it's freaking good. But I won't really want to try out a brand new cracked Griezmann card today, you know? And it all comes down to the price of the new cards today. I don't think they're going to be cheap. Like with boosts and with ratings like that, EA's not going to want to give them out like candy, like super, you know, super supplied like we had with Future Stars. But 
I mean, if they're anywhere near affordable today, like if this Mendy is 1.5 million coins, I think everybody's expecting him to be 2 mil plus because this Mendy last week was 1.5 and this one is a plus 2 with plus 5 shooting, plus 2 pace, 2 playstyle pluses, and it's live and upgrading. I don't think these cards are going to be cheap. That's what I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you that. I'm trying to tell you that some of the other cards that are pretty expensive, the middle to high tier in this game, we're just trending towards that time of the year where there's another market correction. It might not be today. It might not happen today. But all I'm saying is, if these cards are actually all truly boosted, like the two official stats cards that we have seen so far look like, there could be a slight bit of panic on the market. And I'm not saying it's going to be like, oh my gosh, this Sophia Smith's going to go from 2.6 million coins down to 1.5. You know, it's not going to be anything like that. If you bought a team of the year when they were near their lowest, or even if you bought a Sophia Smith for like 2 mil flat, I think you're chilling. You know, like one, two, three 300,000 coin drop on a 2, 3 million coin card is kind of what I would expect, that sort of thing. Maybe for a card that's like a million coins or, you know, maybe an example is like Basha. We get we get the new Ferland Mendy today. If Ferland Mendy is 1.5 or basically if Ferland Mendy is under 2 million coins, I think that hurts this card. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you because, yes, Basha has 90 passing. But Ferlin Mendy also is just Ferlin Mendy with 98 pace. And some people who want to pay for the biggest, best French left back in the game, I think are going to have to make a choice. Do they go for Basha or do they go for their brand new uh, Mendy? You know what I'm saying? So statistically, a lot of these cards are going to be really good today just because of the boost that we've seen. But it's going to come down to the play styles and the pack weight and the price if they're going to make a market impact today. Maybe their market impact isn't seen for the next two or three weeks, or maybe even just later on this weekend. But yeah, guys, I would say, again, just another slight warning if you have expensive tradable cards with double playstyle pluses, like even some of the live cards, just be careful with them, all right? And if you're really worried about it, maybe take the cash. You can always buy back at a later date, maybe in a week or two if you want to be safer. Um, but, you know, usually late February, sometime during March, there is a market crash, whether it's before a foot birthday, during, um, or, you know, after. There's, there's always a market crash in March, and I just think that we're getting towards that time of the year where EA is going to try to do some big things again, push the power curve in the, in the cycle that we're in right now. And today might be the start of that. So just be careful with the market. I think that other places in the market today could end up doing good. If all the cards are expensive, then what's going to go up? I mean, not everybody has millions and millions of coins, right? What about the lower tier? What about Hoyland? Hoyland is one of my cards, favorite cards, I think, out of this promo. If there's not a cheap striker today that is released in the promo team, Hoyland could very easily go up. He's one of the most hyped cards in this team. You've already seen Olise go up a lot. Uh, Rico Lewis is rising some. Xerxes, meh, up a little bit. Uh, Mukoko has been rising. Cold Palmer is up a little bit too. Future Star Icons, David Beckham is really hyped. He's going to go up most likely. Smith has already rised, uh, rose 30,000 coins. Rivaldo is up. Even Gattuso is up a little bit. So I, kind of like last week, if the new cards that come out today are a little more expensive, just like Future Star's Team 2 was a little more expensive than Team 1. Boneface went up right last week. You remember when I was flipping him? Uh, Elliot started to go up last week. I think there's some of that potential today with the Future Stars from Team 2. Hoyland, I think, would be one of my favorites because he's still low-ish. Um, so, yeah, I'd watch Hoyland. Uh, it would have to be somebody with two playstyle pluses. I think Olise is already gone. A lot of these other ones are a little more expensive for my liking. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really investing today. I'm going to keep my coins pretty liquid, I think, for the most part. I do have Sule still, and Sule is getting upgraded today. So, I'm excited for this card to go to a 89 rated what's his price right now he's a it's like 350 360 but this card going to 89 today there's probably going to be a Dortmund player in this promo team I'm pretty sure we haven't seen one leak yet but there's probably going to be one um, I know we're getting delict today as well but delict is going to be expensive with the Bayern links even though they're not playing good so yeah um, that's kind of what I'm expecting there for the market. It's going to be a jumbled mess today, and it's really going to depend upon what content is really released. I don't think it's going to be like a crazy market crash day unless EA really come out and do something bananas. Last thing I talk about is Fodder, because Fodder had a really nice rise in that middle tier once again. Should be reset. Last week, I believe, on Friday, these cards had a bit of a drop as well, unless there was a spike. Was there a spike on Friday? No, they didn't. Thursday, there were 5,000 coins for 85s. They went all the way down to 4.3K in a Saturday, and then they started to rise during the week as they had a lot of demand. I would expect these to come back down in the 5,000 coin range, 86s. I mean, you do, you do have the 86 plus pick that is coming out today. 
So, and that's an 85 rated squat with an inform. So 85s, 86s could be in demand a little bit, but I think over the course of today, tomorrow, um, they could drop down a bit unless EA do something crazy. They should drop a bit, but then on, on Saturday, you've got the 88 plus icon pick refreshing one last time. And maybe that makes these cards rise up a little bit. High rated fodder. I mean, man, there's nothing to make these guys go up. There's really not. There's, there has to be an, um, an 88 or an 89 rated squad requirement to make any of these cards move 89s, 90s or 91s. And as of right now, it just doesn't look like anything that is going to be a well completed SBC is going to make that stuff move right now in this game so that's the video for today guys i got a couple random packs some objectives in the 82 times 20 saved up i gotta do my 85 plus player picks before content today we'll save those for the new promo and yeah it might be an interesting day today i'm hopefully hopefully we get excited that's what I'm, i want to be excited again today i know that future stars had its good moments and all that but um we're ready for some juiced power curve boosting cards i think most of us are even if they're expensive i think we're ready for it all right we're ready for the next move upwards in stats on these cards in this game so if you're excited for the fantasy promo today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the twitch stream today that link is down below in the description it's been nate's account and see you guys there peace